What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you the simplest way that uh, you can set up your OBS. So let's get started. Uh, Alright, cool. So what we're going to do is go to the download page. Um, they've got a new thing called uh, Studio. Now you're going to want Studio because Studio is insanely good and far more simplified and there's a lot of stuff fixed. So let's choose that. Um, OBS Studios, OBS plus browser. You're going to want the browser. Download that and install it next after you've installed obs studios uh we'll be here now ignore everything i've got here we're just going to start off new new game excuse the retarded typing all right first we're going to do is we're going to give ourselves a background image if i can find one there we go boom background image nice and simple Let's try and get it all the way over here. Nice and happy. Nice and happy. Um, all right, next we're going to do is go game capture. Full screen game capture. You don't have to try to like, move any of this around. Um, and then if, say, you're playing something like League of Legends and you've got a, uh, you've got kind of a client. I'll just open that up, actually you've got a client then um what's going to happen is you're going to have something like this when you're in queue or you're going through the shops or editing masteries or runes or something like that um during stream or if you're in high elo then you've got about like three minute queue times at best so uh yeah so what you're going to want to do is look into that There we go. All right, cool. So we're gonna make window capture, call it whatever you want. It should pop up with with this first with League of Legends. So let's slide that into the middle. Make sure the window capture is below the game capture because the window capture is there for the client for me to, as you can see, I can, you know, I can move around, interact with it, all that stuff. But ultimately what you want is because when it happens, um, your game cat when the game opens on League of Legends, it'll open over top of the client and then it'll be straight to your game. A lot of people are using multiple scenes, which for me is just retarded, but that's just me. Um, but anyway, that's the simple way you can set up your games and everything. You have a background, your Windows capture so it doesn't show your desktop. It looks a lot better. Anyway, the next thing we're going to be looking at is settings. In general, I like to have um, English because I like understanding my own language. And I go dark. I don't like light. I think it's really intense. I like dark. Dark is nice and good. Um, I restream, so that's why I have a custom server. But usually you'll go streaming services and then you'll head over to Twitch. Um, and then you'll go like Australia Sydney for Make Some Australia. And then just put in your stream key from uh, Twitch or you know from like Hitbox or wherever you uh, come from. I have to fix that later, son of a bitch. Your output. Okay, now, output's a big deal. Um, it seems like something people are a little bit confused about. But what I do, um, I have 4,000 because I want the best quality I can. That's about the limit, I'd say, when you're not partnered where people can't change your quality. That's just me, though. Audio bit rate, always 320. Oh, got a little alarm there. A little alarm -aroony. Um, bit rate, I would always say your bit rate should be at 320. I've heard it when it's lower and it sounds horrible and, and it makes your microphone sound like shit and I've got a good microphone. So that was a bit disappointing. Um, recording, some people said the same as stream, but like I said, um, your bit rate is a little bit low because you're not partnered and when you're not partnered then people can't change your quality so i put it on indistinguishable quality large file size encode just software no low cpu because um if you're live streaming you should have good stuff and then m, m for uh m, mp4 good god i got that out audio um i wouldn't touch anything usually it's all set properly if you've got a mic plugged in it'll usually pop it up but um if you need to select it it'll be in here um, and the same with, uh, your, your desktop audio. 48 hertz. Ooh, a little bit yawny there. Stereo. Um, video. So, since I'm recording already, I can't change it, but 1920, 1080, that should be your base scale if it's not, depending on your monitor. 
but you want to downscale to 1280 by 720 100% I'm telling you right now that is the best thing you could do a lot of people are like why have I got why is my stream really choppy or you know why is it like taxing my computer it's because it's trying to output your entire screen your entire real thing if you drown put it down to 1280 by 720 people are honestly not going to notice the difference I'm telling you that right now um yeah it's just not a big deal um next up you're going to want to downscale filter when you click on here to Lancazos Lancazos, yeah, Lancazos sharp and scale 32 samples. Um, there is the one that starts with B. Um, sometimes a Lancazos. Apparently, it's had some issues lately. I haven't seen any, but I, I was on by cubic at the time. <sighs> I was so tired. Um, and then your common value FPS. I always go common FPS value. I don't change common FPS value, and then I'll set to 60. If you're playing a really high intensity game. I, I would suggest 30 frames, but that's just me. Um, it depends on how good your computer is really, but yeah, that's just my suggestion. Um, hotkeys, I don't really have any. I have my like different ones, but I don't really give a shit about all that much. I usually start my recording and then I don't touch it. And then you want, yeah, just your streamings. And then uh, I wouldn't touch any in here. You don't really need any. Um, and that's about it. Thanks guys, thanks for joining this tutorial, I hope uh, I could help you out, ask any questions about uh, any of this later, and um, yeah, thanks for watching, bye!